Holiday trimmings and traditions are punctuating the air at Rebecca's home. Yeah, this morning, Rebecca Coles whipping up some delightful fragrances of pine, cinnamon, cranberry, citrus. Tis the season, she says, for Christmas potpourri. I can almost smell Christmas in the air. Instead of burning an incense stick or a candle, I am simmering a pot of Christmas potpourri. Think of it as a natural air freshener. Nothing more than herbs, spices, and fruits in a pot of simmering water. You really can make these easily at home. Just open your cupboards, and you can do this in a pinch. The first thing you want to do is think about the mood that you're trying to inspire. It's the holidays, so of course I want to do a Christmas potpourri. In a pot of boiling water, I'm going to add a handful of fresh cranberries, some sliced oranges, cinnamon sticks, and if you don't have sticks, you can use ground cinnamon, whole cloves or ground cloves, allspice berries, a little bit of ground nutmeg, some rosemary sprigs, and fresh evergreen that I actually cut from the back of my Christmas tree. Now we want to boil this for about a minute and then we will turn the stove down to a simmer and that's when the magic will happen. And by the way, according to folklore, you first want to stir this counterclockwise. That is supposed to get rid of all the bad energy in the house. And then stir it clockwise. That is supposed to bring in abundance, merriment, and warmth. <laughs> I think it's working. <laughs> As the liquid and fragrant ingredients heat, they release a natural, steamy, intoxicating aroma for your whole home. It makes your home smell cozy, and it's perfect for the holidays. And by the way, if you don't want to hassle with something on the stove, you can use these in a crock pot. So that was my Christmas blend, perfect for the holidays. But what about after the holidays, when really that's the time we all need to simmer down? Well, there's no reason why you can't put together some blends to help remove stress in the home. One of my favorite calming blends includes sprigs of rosemary, some eucalyptus. It can be dried or it can be fresh, and about 10 drops of lavender. If romance is your thing, try mixing together dried rose petals and frankincense. If you prefer a woodsy scent, just walk around your yard. If you've got any conifer or pines, just cut a couple of sprigs, add that to the pot of boiling water. Then to that, about 10 drops of cedar wood. I like to add some juniper berries, maybe a couple of allspice berries, and don't forget the rosemary. And finally, one of my favorites. It's a very clean, fresh aroma that you get from sliced limes. I like to use mint. If you've got fresh mint, that's perfect. This is dried. It works as well. And a few drops of vanilla. Now, as you can see, the list goes on. And really, there's no recipe. Just add what you like. And by the way, putting together a little potpourri makes a great hostess gift. So for this, all you need, first of all, is a jar with a lid. And then I'm going to use the same ingredients that we did for the Christmas potpourri. However, I did dry the orange slices. I put them in the oven about 180 degrees, waited until they dried out until they're nice and leathery. Now we're just going to layer in the goods. So there you go. Not bad. Look how quickly we did that. Now this, I think, makes sense. Rebecca Coles, WCCO 4 News. Rebecca says, shop your refrigerator or your spice cabinets for those simmering pot ingredients. She suggests visiting a local fresh and natural type of store that sells in bulk to get harder to find herbs and spices at reasonable prices. Mm -hmm. Rebecca will post the instructions and spice recipes on her Instagram account.